In this video, you will learn how to play against the Sicilian opening with the white pieces. Hello everyone and welcome back. So my name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Grandmaster and in this video you will see one of my games against a very strong player, Oleg Ivanov. It was like 12 years ago in 26th of July 2012 in Pardubice Czech Open Tournament. I was only 14 years old and you know before I will start let's do it together let's see the new thing in our YouTube channel come on let's do it so we are here and we can start so e4 c5 knight f3 e6 he played against me and this is very very interesting line right this is the Mo maybe the taimanov maybe the paulsen let's see how it goes so i play the move d4 c takes d4 knight takes d4 and now we play the move a6 we already saw in our channel one of my games against Gennady Ginzburg, a very strong player also grandmaster uh, that i played against him bishop to e2 uh, but in this game particular game i play the move bishop to d3 he played against me bishop c5, of course, threatening the knight. We are coming to b3 with one tempo on this bishop on c5. He played the move bishop e7. Another option here is to play the move bishop a7. And, and we would like to play uh, something around knight c3, queen e2, bishop e3, maybe ca long castle, f4. So this bishop is very annoying us and we would like to exchange it. So he played the move bishop to e7, I castled, of course, d6. Knight c3 makes sense. Knight f6, bishop e3. Until now, very logical developed. And you know what? Don't forget that we can play, of course, a4. But before he is playing knight bd7, we would like to not play a4. Because if we are playing, for example, b uh, instead of bishop e3, a4, he will play the move knight c6, knight b4. And yeah, this is very important square for uh, the black, of course. So I'm playing the move bishop to e3, he played castle, and now I played f4. So our tension, you know, is the king side. We would like to attack in the king side while black wants to attack us in the queen side for example he wants to play b5 bishop b7 knight b7 rook c8 you know this uh, uh, file is very important as we already learned uh, in the knight of tutorial so f4 he played the move knight to c6 and now i played the move a3 i really like this move why because you know i really like my two bishops right this uh, is just fantastic two bishops are doing a great job here right and also uh, you know maybe in some ways also in the king side so i don't like maybe to bring the opportunity to play knight before and to attack this bishop because i really i really like it so i play the move a3 another thing with a3 that black uh, probably will play the move b5 and would like to play b4 and we are already doing prophylactic move so a3 is very uh, common move uh, in my games for example in the sicilian he played the move queen to c7 now i play the move queen to f3 uh, bringing another piece into the center also connecting between our rooks and maybe the next move will be rook a to e1 he played the move rook uh, e8 and now i play the move g4 so don't forget we are attacking in the king side while black uh, is probably would like to attack us uh, in the queen side so he's playing the move b5 very um you know quite fine move right uh, yeah it's, it's it's probably the best move in the position wants to bring the bishop to b7 develop his pieces yeah, makes a lot of sense. G5, of course, knight D7. And now I'm playing the move queen to H3. As you can see, in attacking a mode, right? Because we don't have time, right? Because when we're playing the Sicilian, it's like race. It's like race who will attack first, who will um, bring the, 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 uh, the opponent some troubles to, um, uh, you know, like to, to deal with, right? Uh, some some things that he wants to 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 bring uh, maybe attack in the king side or maybe uh, develop your pieces right it's very important to understand that if we are doing it faster than him he will defend us right he will try to defend our attack in the king side and he will not achieve 
um, to improve his skills and his uh, performance in the queen side, right? Because if he's playing, for example, move uh, like knight f8, he will not come to c5, not to b6, not to c4. So he will not attack us uh, as he likes in the queen side, while he will defend uh, on the, the king side, okay? So it's very important to understand because we don't have time to waste. He's playing the move g6. Okay, so this is one very, very good example of it, right? He's playing move g6. Why is playing this move? Because he's afraid maybe in some ideas of e5, right? So he's doing one defend, uh, you know, one uh, one move that is 100% a, a defense, right? So it's not a move that uh, develop his attack in the queen side. So I'm playing move rook a to e1 because I really want to bring all the pieces into the attack. He's playing to move b4 and I really like this move for my opponent. Why? Because he's telling himself, okay, I don't have time. I must do it fast. I must control my uh, development and attack in the queen side and somehow, you know, like to reflex um, uh, the white uh, pieces from the queen side and, you know, like... Uh, uh, just uh, to bring something that uh, will bring um, problems for white in the queen side. So I'm playing the move, very strong move, I think, in this position. I play the move knight to d1. Why? Because this knight, I saw for him a very good squares, g4. How can I bring the knight to g4? I know, and you also know, from d1, f2 and g4 oh sorry to g4 of course and this square will bring us also to f6 and also to h6 so it's a very important move he played the move b takes a3 of course we took it back and now he played the move bishop f8 as you already know knight to f2 we are bringing the knight we're developing his position and we want to bring him to g4 and you can see another a very strong example of the move f5 that he played in this position he don't have time to waste on attacking us in the queen side because for example he afraid to play the move bishop b7 for example because g knight g4 we're bringing the knight here knight h6 knight d4 f5 you know it's very very scary for him so f5 another very defense move but unfortunately for him is very bad move i took the pawn g takes f5 uh, he takes f5 also uh, may be possible but uh, it seems like bishop c4 check king h8 and bishop f7 with double attack here right so it's problematic for him and of course king uh, g7 just and, and just a brilliant move bishop to b6 a sacrificing and a bishop and also attacking the rook on e8 and another thing also queen c3 maybe uh, it's a threat because the, this king is not feeling well at all but he took with the pawn on f5 and now very strong move i think another developing a move right developing a piece improving the piece position which piece can we uh, improve his position i will tell you guys the knight knight to g4 of course f takes g4 is not a good move because of queen takes h7 checkmate in one so knight is g4 we're coming into a very active uh, position we would like to play knight h6 maybe maybe knight f6 in some ways so the knight is doing great job here and now he's playing the move bishop and uh, no, he played the move knight to e7 i think right yeah i think knight e7 was the move and now i play the move bishop to d4 another development uh, of our pieces right we we would like to put this bishop in this very strong diagonal also we are opening our rook uh, in the e-file and yeah it seems very bad for him because this e6 pawn is weak and white you know white is attacking here knight g6 makes a lot of sense because now the rook uh, is protecting the e6 pawn and also now f takes g4 is a threat what can we do now and i really really recommend you guys just stop the video now think by yourself how can white will win it exactly very very fast come on let's see you um, doing it you know i i must tell you guys that i didn't uh, achieve um you know 
to uh, to realize this fantastic sacrifice we are sacrificing the rook rook takes c6 is the best move in this position after rook takes c6 just bishop takes a5 with so much threats here then rook on e8 uh, e6 of course after rook to e7 for example just you know bishop e6 just amazing move uh, rook takes knight h6 check bishop takes queen takes e6 King f8, now just g takes h6 with bishop g7, checkmate. Yeah, just amazing, amazing, amazing. And in this position, for example, I don't know, knight c5 makes sense. Just knight takes, uh, d takes, bishop e6, bishop takes, knight, uh, I think knight f6. King h8, just taking the bishop. And after queen, uh, king f7, of course, just queen takes h7, bishop g7, I don't know, knight h5. Yeah, just game over. The king on f7 is just lost here. And everything is open. Queen takes g7, the next move. And yeah, just winning absolutely this position. So, unfortunately, I didn't saw this rook e6. Oh, one more thing that uh, f takes g4, another move that we, we need to consider. But, of course, rook takes g6, h takes g6, queen h8 check, king f7, and now just queen h7. Yeah, this position, of course, with this king. I don't know, maybe also c4. Just, you know, quiet move with f5, bishop takes, and checkmate on a spot c4, I think. Just game over. And, um, yeah. So, white is winning. So, um, unfortunately, I didn't uh, realize this fantastic sacrifice in the rook. I played the move knight to h6 check. It's, it was not a good move at all. Bishop takes, queen takes e5, and now just taking the pawn on f5. Of course, white has a very good advantage here, but okay, maybe black has some options uh, to play. Knight d f8, and now it seems like the king on g8 is not so weak and not so open like it was... Um, few moves ahead so bishop d3 bishop b7 and now just f5 yeah he didn't play the best here i think now if i remember correctly queen d7 was the best because somewhere queen g4 maybe queen h3 something like this and also now e takes d4 is a threat because this rook is covered by the queen so yeah he played the move bishop b7 and now just f5 e takes d4 uh, rook takes e8 and take on g7 and g6 of course bishop d5 Take on h7, knight takes, and queen g6 with the uh, resignation by my opponent. 2506 Oleg Ivanov. I think he was international master or maybe grandmaster in this uh, game. I'm not sure. Sorry uh, if I'm mistaken, but yeah, it was a very, very important win by me in the Czech uh, Pardubice tournament uh, that also held uh, these days in Czech Republic is very very good country I really like to be there and I played in Pardubice so much times that yeah I missed it I missed it so in this game uh, I win with the white pieces against the Sicilian opening I really hope that you learn some plans here some strategic plans and also some tactics right it's very very complicated and you must do it fast right and that's it I really really hope that you enjoy the video and if you like just press the like button and also subscribe my channel. See you soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.